It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2021. Number one, a federal grand jury indicted Derek Chauvin and three other former Minneapolis police officers on charges of violating George Floyd's civil rights during the arrest that led to his death last year. The Department of Justice announced the indictment Friday, alleging ex-officers Derek Chauvin, Toe Tao, J. Alexander King, and Thomas Lane violated George Floyd's rights when they restrained him. Tao and King were charged with failing to intervene, and all four officers were charged with failing to give medical attention. Number two, Texas is the latest Republican-majority state moving ahead with legislation restricting voting rights. The current bill will limit extended early voting hours and ban drive through voting. During the current legislative sessions, over 350 restrictive election bills have been introduced in 47 legislatures following Donald Trump's claims of 2020 election fraud. Number three, federal jobless benefits are being cut in several GOP-led states as hiring slows nationwide. Republicans hope that the loss of additional federal aid given to millions of Americans who have struggled during the pandemic will force many people to return to work. Arkansas on Friday became the latest to announce plans to cancel the extra $300 per week benefits, joining Montana and South Carolina, who decided to make cuts earlier in the week. Number four, in 1993, Liddell Lee was accused and convicted of murdering 26-year-old Deborah Reese and was sentenced to death. Lee maintained his innocence from the time of his arrest until his execution in 2017. Four years after Mr. Lee's execution, new DNA shows that someone else may have committed that murder. A lawsuit has been filed on behalf of Mr. Lee's sister. Number five, the killing of George Floyd and the ensuing nationwide wave of protest sparked an unprecedented level of charitable giving. Money came in so fast and so unexpectedly that some groups were forced to turn away or redirect donors elsewhere. However, funding for racial equity causes abated in the last half of the year, falling to just 5% of donation shares in December of 2020, showing a gap between intention and action. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Spread good, positive energy, even when you don't feel like it. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedians Huggy Lowdown and Chris Paul as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and Black Voters Matter. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.